ooh, ah, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ah. I love this new format. I almost prefer it to the fridge. I know people probably don't. I prefer it because I can just do it here. Look, look how tidy my room is right now. It's not because I've got... This is not a mirror camera. Anyway, titties out, shirts off because I just did some exercise. And I, I feel like a lot of people don't know how um, like antidepressants, like SS SRIs or whatever you want to call them, work. And there's a whole bunch of different ones of them. This is actually a serious video. Yesterday was a joke video. This one's actually a serious one. And it will probably be quick. Um, because I feel most people can't recommend them. I think I'm one of the few exceptions they work for where it's like you really need them. For most people, they're like training wheels you go on that kind of work. Um, I'll explain, yeah. So I think, so let's say you're taking antidepressants, let's say you've probably heard of some of them, if you you or your friends have taken them, like citalopram, fluoxetine, uh, diazepam you want to avoid, because that one, I, I oof, it's fun, but bad idea long term. Anyway, you probably heard about these, and when you go on them at first, it's actually on the box that it says it makes you feel worse. <laughs> For like the first week, couple of weeks. So I see it say give these things like a week or two chance. At the point where you're taking mm -hmm. antidepressants, you're probably pretty low already. So you're going to go through some more shit, but things are going to get better. What can happen is some don't work for some people. Sometimes your skin gets worse. You get real sweaty. There are other side effects. I recommend not looking them up. When you get the side effect, then look it up. Because if you've got that on your mind, you're like, Argh. not fun. Um... So yeah, I, I, these things, give these things some time. And if you've got, I'm, I'm saying this now, it's kind of like venting because I feel like I've been uh, flaking on friends a little bit when they want to like hang out and stuff because I'm just kind of working through it and I know it's temporary. If you're like in a spot where like, oh, I'm grumpy and sick, I'm going to poo my pants. That's, then you should probably be going out for like a run, doing some exercise, getting air, getting some light. Suck it up, big boy. You're doing something about it already. Do something else as well. Bonus boys. But yeah, you, you're probably going to feel pretty crappy for a little bit of time. Um, reason I can't recommend it for a lot of people is because when you're um, in a position where you feel like, oh, I just need to talk about this, you think, or like get out of med. If you feel like, I think meds are really good if you have something like intrusive thoughts or like even when you're feeling like happy and good, sometimes something pops in your head like, maybe about like, I don't know, like self-harm or something. It's like, that's pretty cringe. No one wants to be in that situation. That's two thumbs down for me. Don't like that. So that's when you probably need to be like medicated or something. There's tons of people, like probably one or three, one in three or higher. Nothing to be ashamed of. If you mention it, like with a group of people, like I wouldn't like go out actively mentioning it. Bit weird, oversharing mate. But if it comes up in conversation, you'd probably be surprised how many people like struggle with stuff. Even people who like seem like they've really got it together, it's probably because they're really anxious and they really want to get stuff done. And their way of coping with it is getting shit done. So yeah, if, if you're going on um, like antidepressants um, or whatever, just really give it some time to go. But I like to think of it as like training wheels. Um, and it's just like people with disabilities. If you're in a wheelchair, do people expect you to go in a wheelchair some of the time and then just walk out of it another day? Like, if your legs are gone, what are you supposed to do? It's fine to be on it if you need it, like, all the time. Um, that's fine. It, it costs money and that sucks uh, in some countries. I know that's that's my position where I have to pay money uh, a month to not want to die. Not a great system, but... Um, it's what we got. It's it's better than what than them not existing. They've done great stuff for me, uh, but they also present a lot of challenges. So yeah, I, I just recommend um, giving it time when you go on or decide maybe to come off them. Really give it like at, at least a week, probably two week, two or three weeks, um, depending on like the dosage. Like just going from so basically, I take something. Uh, called fluoxetine I'm at 40 milligrams and I've gone down to 30 milligrams and that was uh, like that was not so bad compared to other stuff but like this week I've been a bit like up and down a bit uh, gritty grubby so yeah no I really recommend this is coming to about just five minutes pretty much perfect yeah I, I recommend taking your time going on and off it if you can take anything from that 
And if you've got friends on anti, if people are like, oh, I'm sad, I should probably take antidepressants. Really, like, get a professional's advice because for a lot of people, talking, some more exercise, eating healthier. I know it sounds stupid, like, drink more water, bro. But for some people, it really helps. And when I've been in really good places, it's really helped. But, like, I'm in a position where I've got, like, uni and stuff. There's too much stress, and I just have to live with it. So I, I've got to take it. It's, it's not really up to me. It's just sensible. And, like, yeah, sure, I can complain all day about uh, the systems, but I also have to take my personal responsibility. So, yeah, um, those are my recommendations. Be safe out there. Uh, uh, boobies, uh, bum bum.